welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys cartoon TMNT video. Today, we have another set of variant Bebop and Rocksteady figures, which is always a joy to have. They've almost become the Guildenstern and Rosencrans of the TMNT universe. But of course, we are going on a vacation, a mutant vacation. This is how they appeared in Napoleon Bonafrog, Colossus of the Swamp. So they are all decked out, ready to visit Disney World or Orlando or wherever this may be. Now, here is everyone associated with the creation of these figures. So thank you very much for that. And here is the barcode. These are a Target exclusive and they are hitting store shelves now. So. This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, cold, iced daiquiri. This is a look at the brand new, from NECA Toys, their cartoon TMNT Vacation Bebop and Vacation Rocksteady. Here we go. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. You get two ridiculously funny, cool figures. They don't need to exist, but they do. And then a few accessories. Each one comes with the same sort of hands, punching hands, open hands, that sort of deal. They're basically the same. They're just different colors. Now, this particular accessory comes from the scene in the Colossus of the Swamps when Shredder needs a taxi cab driver and Alex rock steady. So we get rock steady's taxi cab driver hat. And that's what I mean about the cartoon TMNT line. This is the kind of excessive accessories that I want to say. They don't need to do this, but dagnabbit, I want them to do this. Now, something truly out of Cronenberg, in the same episode, there is a little bug, and Rocksteady flicks the bug into the mutagen, and out pops this thing. So, it sticks within the rules of the mutagen. Whatever you touch, you hit the mutagen, you take on those properties. So, Rocksteady is a man rhino and he touched this bug and the thing <laughs> pops out with a rhinoceros face, human arms and wings. It is terrifying. Kill me. And if you want, you can have Bebop and Rocksteady hold this disgusting thing. So well done, NECA Toys. Again, that's what I likes to see. In the same episode, you get this old-fashioned 80s water jug, and yes, they have included that as well. It doesn't open, it's got great paint to it. It's perfection. Why, I ask you, why does this exist in a package of toys? Well, it doesn't matter. They did it, and you're gonna like it and recreate that scene. But how do the actual figures stack up? Well, in terms of Bebop, they are having a blast with these head portraits. That tells you what, you can definitely see that. At the top of the hat, you will notice the little propeller. That's a separate piece, it's in the box, don't throw it away. Once it's in, it's in, be very careful putting it in, and be very careful pulling it out. It's not gonna really spin. It's just gonna be the first thing that'll break if this Bebop goes a-tumbling. I love that he has a Disneyland Donald Duck hat on there. That's a nice little wink and a nod. You do get several more accessories of which I've already attached to the characters. You get a box camera, which is painted nicely, and you have a Green Goblin Merce messenger bag. And yes, due to the continuity of the cartoon, you can have it on either side of the character. The illustrations on the box have it going one way, the photos have it going the other way. It doesn't matter, but it works and it fits nicely on this figure. He's got the red Urkel suspenders. He's got the yellow shirt. Everything is painted beautifully down to his floral pants. The only hiccup with the paint on this entire figure is a couple gash marks right there on the collar. Everything else from the articulation, which I'm going to say is nothing crazy. It's nothing new, but it's exactly the type of articulation you want to see. But in particular, I like what they did with Bebop's head. I like you can move it around. You can also move the jaw, open and close. So that's just little nice subtle touches that they put on this figure. The legs, the waist, everything, the double jointed knees. He's got <laughs> knee high socks and his tennis shoes. The feet go up and down, left and right, side to side, peg holes on the bottom, the backside again, all the paint continues on. This is, is hilarious in the fact that, again, with all the variants that we've gotten for Bebop and Rocksteady, we're not done, and I'm sure they can do a few more if they get around to it. In terms of Rocksteady, again, 
a lot of fun. Vacation Rocksteady. Just say that and let it just marinate in your mind. He's got his Trader Joe's floral shirt on. He even has sandals. That is hilarious. And that is exactly the ridiculousness that I want to see within the TMNT cartoon of which is so ridiculous on its own. The hat, however, it doesn't exactly as fix. You can see it kind of has grooves on the head at the top. It's just going to kind of situate on there. There's no way to really attach it. So it will go tumbling if you move them around, but if he's just sitting there on the shelf, you should be A-OK, -okay, good to go. In terms of the glasses and the mouth and the neck and the arms and everything else, again, it is not going to be anything crazy. You have his lay around his neck and his own camera with the flash bulb. Again, it's nice to see that everything is really well done. Keep in mind, this is a whole overlay over a skeletal structure underneath. It does the trick in simulating that, yes, that is Rocksteady's guts. Got his double jointed knees. He has his sandaled feet. Up, down, left, right, peg holes on the bottom. This is a lot of fun. And what's equally as fun is going on socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and seeing everybody who's actually taken these to theme parks and taken photos with them, well done. I am thoroughly enjoying your fun. Now, this is pretty much the entire episode of Napoleon Bonafrog Colossus of the Swamp. So if you already have the Colossus and you have a Shredder, which we are getting a new Shredder, and you have the Muta Shooter, oh, You've pretty much completed the entire episode. Throw in a couple punk frogs, the turtles, you're A-OK. -okay. Now we just need all the mafia guys. Yes, that's all one episode, as bizarro as it is. Let's see that happen, NECA toys. In terms of Vacation Bebop and Rocksteady, with your cartoon TMNTs, no matter which ones you have, they will go nicely. They're gonna be a little bit bigger than the turtles, as they should be, and it's just equally as bonkers and like i said over and over this is not our first foray into bebop and rocksteady in fact this is probably the sixth fifth or sixth iteration i don't have the bunny suits hopefully one day but yes these are amazing so that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new the target exclusive cartoon tmnt line vacation bebop and vacation rocksteady by NECA toys two figures that would and seemingly never need to exist ever in any situation, but that is the beauty of the cartoon TMNT line. People like to say all the time, oh, they're, they're running out of characters. Evidently not. And I wanna see how crazy they can continue to be because these are a lot of fun. The looks are there, the shirts, the floral designs, the cameras, everything that draws you back to the 80s, all in two action figures, beautifully done. So. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Cartoon TMNT. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, I would have loved to have seen that little red flag included. It's in the episode, it's on the illustrations. You need a hand to actually hold that flag, but perhaps later in another set, we will get that vacation flag for dear Rocksteady. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.